In every generation, there's a moment where everything changes. This is one of those moments. Introducing GE Additive. Uh, my name is Janis Homa. I'm CEO and uh, co-founder of Litos. And Litos is a uh, world market leader in additive manufacturing of high-performance ceramics. And why do you think that we need ceramic 3D printing? Yeah, ceramics are used where other materials fail. So uh, when you have uh, some actually high temperatures, high corrosion environments, uh, bio-inertness, so when you need a good biological behavior, uh, or if you need electrical isolating material, you would move to ceramics, and these are then they have then superior material properties than uh, metals and polymers. And it's important with ceramics that it doesn't crack. Is that right? And lift yeah, that's uh, the, there are three important things in ceramic. It's first quality, second quality, and the third point is quality. So it's all <laughs> about quality in ceramics, and that's why you need really a high quality system, and why you need to control the whole process chain. So it's not only sufficient to have a machine or have a material, you need to have the machine, material, post-processing and, uh, and everything included. Can you talk to me a little bit about how the machine works? How, what, what, what's the raw material we're working with? Yeah, so basically the machine is similar working to a stereolithography machine, so we are using light as a structuring method. We are dispersing the ceramic particles into a um, photopolymeric resin and then uh, we have a so-called slurry and then we simply uh, expose the slurry to light, where the light hits the material, it solidifies, you build it up layer by layer, but then you are not finished, you need to put it then into the furnace to debind, so to get out the photopolymeric binder again, and then finally sinter it, and then you have the final sintered part. And what applications is it best for? Uh, there are numerous applications. Uh, if you want to divide them in sectors, you have, of course, biomedical application because ceramic is bio-inert or also bioactive. So you could have uh, bone replacement material, so which is resorbed by the human, human body, or permanent implants or surgical instrument. That's the medical market. Then a very, very interesting market is uh, ceramic casting course for turbine blades. So um, the industry knows that in the future the the cooling channels of these turbines will be more and more uh, complex and they need new uh, manufacturing technology for making the cores for the casting. And here additive manufacturing comes into the play and this is a really big market. And then on the, the thirdly we have the, let's say the, the common ceramic market, which is then jewelry, automotive, electrical industry, mechanical engineering, textile components, textile machinery. So very broad application then. And how long have you been working on the technology? That's actually a good question. We started to work in 2006, 2007, develop this technology at the Vienna University of Technology, and it took us till 2010 to really have the first success, to have the prototype which works out, which really had the same material properties as conventionally formed ceramics. And this is the key element. You have to, because as I said in the beginning, ceramics are used where other materials fail. You really have to get the same material properties as other and in other ceramic form technologies because they are used in harsh environments. So this is very important. And how have you found for next? How's the past four days been for you? Yeah, tremendous. Very, very exhausting actually. So <laughs> on the last day, but with a lot of uh, people here who are interested in ceramics, who are interested in additive manufacturing, but as well, and this is this is for me very, very um, um, helpful when it, we have customers here who are now ordering their next systems. So we say oh, we're satisfied. It's it's good working, and we are now progressing, and we know you're delivering. The, the best quality and therefore we can go next step. We are now extending our production facility and that's really actually what we are, what we are looking for. <laughs>